I am a student of John Simon Morkmeyer and his cadet, and this was take place back when I was just a student. I was going to go with him out to Holderdale, out west into the wild flatland. <laughs> he hadn't gotten a chance to work on his lesson plan, so I was driving his car. We were driving down Interstate 90. Speed limit 70. I'm going 80. So yes, I'm going 80 on 70 on 90. <laughs> we're driving along. It's a beautiful, clear day, like today. Driving along. And all of us, you know, we're chatting a little bit. He's buried in his translation of Capifero. And all of a sudden, woo! The consequence. I pull over, hoping they're going past me. They're after somebody else. No, that was not to be. I pull out my wallet, set it on my, set it on my lap, because I, unfortunately, is, I marry and I'm with kings, but I do not mess with cops, because kings may or may not give me jewelry. Cops can give me jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like wrist jewelry. Um, so we're, we're, I comes up and says, license and proof of insurance. I hand up my license. Of insurance. Simon hands me over a card and, go, and I hand it over and goes, this is for such and such car. Oh, sorry, that's my wife. Correct one over. And he goes, where are you going? I said, Mission South Dakota. Going to go hunting? No, nope. gonna go teach historical sword fighting. He goes, what? <laughs> I go, historical sword fighting. At this point, I don't know it, but Simon is holding up the translation of Plate 7 on Capoeira. If you're familiar with that, it's Renaissance art. It's showing two naked guys, one of them is spearing the other into the head with a sword. <laughs> and he's just like, huh, you don't see that every day. <laughs> now, my internal monologue is going, my group of friends, yeah, you do. But, <laughs> They may not give me jewelry. So I said, No, sir, you don't. <laughs> he goes walking back, and Simon's like, I'm sorry. Said, oh, we'll see what happens. He comes back and he gives me a nice piece of paper. It's a written warning. You know, he goes, Read this before you're done. I told him, you know, and so I'm like, Yes, sir, not a problem. And I looked over at Simon and I said, I just burned up a lot of good karma, didn't I? <laughs> and he says, Yes, yes, you did. So that is how Capifero saved me from getting a speeding ticket in the wilds of Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs>